guys welcome to tech tutorials in this video i will show you how to get noobs and with it raspbian on your raspberry pi so before we can actually get started we'll have to download noobs so to do this head over to the raspberry pi downloads page the link will be in the description below and download the latest version of noobs in this case it's the version 1.3.10 but if you download it it may be a later version so now just click on download zip and it will download it to plug the micro SD card into your computer, you'll probably need a micro SD to normal SD adapter like this one. So now let's format our SD card. So to do this, open Disk Utility, then select your SD card, go to Erase and make sure that the format is MS-DOS. Now just give it any name, I'll call it RPI for Raspberry Pi and click on Erase. Type in your admin's username and password and your SD card will now be formatted. So now let's go for the very simple process of actually putting noobs onto your SD card. So all you have to do is open the folder with noobs in it, mark all the files and then drag them onto your SD card. So now let's reinsert our SD card, connect the Pi up and take a look at actually installing noobs on the Raspberry Pi. So after you've connected your Raspberry Pi up and given it power, you should soon see a screen like this one. So now let's show you the OS as it's found on the SD card to be ready to install. So to install one, just tick the white box next to it and click on the install button on the top. In this case, I'll just go with Raspbian. So to finish the install, just click OK once the screen pops up. So after the screen, it'll prepare the operating system, which will again take quite a while. So after it's finished preparing, it will bring up the config screen where you can do some settings to your Raspberry Pi. In this case, I'll just stick with the settings as they are. So after the config screen, your Raspberry Pi is ready to use. So now you could do anything with it, I'll just go to the desktop interface by typing in start x. So there we are. So if this video helped you, then please leave a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future. See you in the next one.